So I got the motor taken apart so I could put the Elderbrock aluminum heads on there. And since I got the headers off, I went ahead and wrapped them up. Uh, the spark plug wires have those boots on there to try to protect them from burning. And they still sit on the headers. So I wanted to go ahead and do the wrap. One, to keep the try to save the boots from burning and then I won't have to keep messing with trying to keep them from sitting on the header and I want to I'm hoping that this will keep the headers from rusting away I mean I cut all the tubes and re-welded everything back together to fit my truck for how I have my truck set up so I'm trying to get these headers to last but it's the DEI header wrap I just got it from advanced auto parts I still got to paint it with the coating on there uh I watched a, a couple of the videos. Uh, I guess you could start here and then work your way down, or you could start down here and work your way up. Uh, I tried ending with having it so that I end here. I didn't like how it was. So the way I did it was I started at the header flange and I did my, my separated tubes first and then finished with the two tubes that would end up being wrapped together and I used that wrap to go all the way down and then come around and then I just used the hose clamps I had I got the the ties that you can get for it uh, honestly I wouldn't even buy them I didn't I used it and I didn't really like it I only ended up using one of them so it's the wrap just kind of holds it together. I don't think that's worth buying it. So uh, Advance had the hose clamps. At least this way, the two clamps kind of make up the same size as the or the same width as the wrap. So I tighten it down. I'm just gonna cut them off, and then I'll paint everything with the high temp silicone coating. I guess that's supposed to keep the moisture out, so whatever they recommend, I just went ahead and I'll go ahead and do it like that. But I think overall it came out pretty good. I tried to do it as even as possible. I mean, it's not a very quick process, but I mean, it works. Uh, two inch header wrap with a half inch overlap on each one. So, and my biggest area that I tried to do was right here where I know the boot is going to sit. So, I folded it under, it's folded on the bottom, and then I came around it once, and then I, then I started to double, and then work my way down. So, I try to keep it thick right here just because I know this is where the spark plug is going to sit, and then it's a half inch overlap all the way down. And it's all on there tight. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of videos to tell you how to do it, but that's how I did mine. Some of the tubes, uh, the passenger one was the easier side to do. Uh, this one over here was a little bit more difficult uh, just because of how the pipes come together. So this is one, one piece and then this is two pieces because I ended up getting another roll. And it's wrapped together uh, there. And then I have those straps to hold it down in there. And then coming around. When I did the two pipes, I just used that. And then came around, looped it. It tried to stay in the same direction. So as you're pulling the tension on it, like this one comes down and then is uh, wrapped so as this as my last layer comes around it's going to grab that wrap and keep tension on it and then it loops all the way down and then I get this band clamps on that end so hopefully it works well, should keep the temperature down as far as where the spark plug wire is that's really my own only concern. I think the truck's high enough in the air and there's enough 
open space at under hood ter temperature is not a big concern for me. But that's how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. That's it.